It's made on Got Her Memory Back, y'all. I thought she was faking it first. I was going to start the review talking about Sam investigating this man in public or whatever. But then they showed it. I said, oh, my goodness. Here we go. But, hey, y'all. Welcome back to another review of Life with Chesity for General Hospital, December 18, 2023. Okay, so look here. You got Star Esme. Look, I was like, y'all know. I was saying, like, did she lose her memory for real or is she faking? She done got her memory back or she's starting to get her memory back and everything. Then they say that the reason that Trina convinced everybody to drop the charges because they wanted to wait till she got her memory back so that they couldn't, uh, something about file the charges again. I forgot what they said. But then they said, they, I said, she finna start scheming now. She finna start scheming. I said, I could see it now. That's what came to my head. As soon as they showed it, I said, yep, she about to start scheming now. Because she done sit up here. She apologized to Trina and everything about, you know, everything. Tell my son, I may never remember what I did, but I got to live with it and I got to accept it and all this stuff. And when they showed her hanging the ornament with Ace and she, she started to think back to, I guess there was the scene from when Nicholas had her up there because she was decorating the tree. It looked like some tissue or something. I didn't see that episode. But I said, Whoever was saying that she going to, I don't, I forgot what they said that she was going to do, but they said she was going to plan something to work out for her benefit. And I said, yep, she's going to start scheming. I don't know what she's going to do, but she's going to do something so she can make sure she don't go back to jail. Cause I could, I think they said, if I'm not mistaken, I think they said they was going to wait till she get her memory back. So now she's going to try hard to act like she don't know nothing and all this stuff. I said, yeah, but okay. On this episode, y'all. Carly finally know who do this. Well, she know part of it because, you know, they didn't go back to that scene or whatever. So, you know, Dante got, I said, well, first of all, why was Sam cooked? It don't make sense now. <laughs> well, they show her right there. It's many times this man been in this doggone, in Carly face. It's many times he been in Carly face or whatever. I said, first of all, it don't make sense anyway for you to be investigating somebody in public. You don't know who this man is. You don't know where this man is. She over here on the left. First, they show her. I think she was researching his name. I said, oh, he finna catch her. He finna walk in and see her and he gonna have her girl or something like that. So then she pulls up the picture and Carla seen it. And she said, is that who you and Dante investigating? And then they share information or whatever about him being the head of the WSB and everything. I said, he done got caught already. He done got caught. But did y'all see the preview for this week's episode um, where Dante and Anna, gonna, they're going to be uh, shooting at Dante and Anna? I said, yeah, it's about to go down now. It's about to go down now. Y'all think Carla going to try to confront the man? But the thing is, they don't know yet that he's also at the Sunny. They don't know that part. They know he involved with Anna and everything, but they don't know that he also, um, after Sunday, he after both of them. So I said, look, this could be interesting. I ain't seen the spoilers for, uh, you know, this week and next week, because usually they drop two weeks spoilers for uh, General Hospital. But yeah, Dante finally shares the information with Anna and everything. She IDs the guy. She IDs him, and then she was trying to tell Dante, you need to steer, steer clear of it because they try to eliminate whoever know about it or whatever. And then I tell you, I said, don't banks and stuff have cameras. And uh, then not to mention they, they uh, something about they said they was watching, they was watching or whatever. But the man came told Mr. Brennan that Dante was at the bank. They retraced his steps. I said, dog. <laughs> they told I said, um, she done met up with uh, detective of falconary at the hospital day in the morning. I said, now how you know all that? <laughs> That's how you know all that. They don't trace back his step. They don't backtrack and everything. Talking about he at the hospital right now. He was at the bank. He was at the train station. He was this place. I said, yeah, you done for, buddy. You done for. I'm just ready for them to piece together all of it. To not learn that, you know, um, it's about Sonny and Anna. Not just one. Not just one. But yeah, Mr. Brandon over here trying to put the moves on Carla. She just smiling and stuff. Then she telling him, she, you know, she's seeing somebody or whatever. And he still trying to put the moves on her. Then he get that call or whatever. And he leaves out. And Carly was, she made a face or whatever. Because he looked like he got angry. He got angry or whatever. Sam will come in there. <laughs> I said, that ain't made no doggone sense. <laughs> How you gonna investigate? I said, why would you come in a public place? I I get that you don't you don't didn't expect him to be around or whatever, but still, if you investigate somebody, why would you wanna? Then not just that, because I know you didn't know if he was in town. Now you know the investigation that's going down. You know that they uh took care of the what's the dude name foresight or whatever. So why would you come there? <laughs> but I guess it had to be set up that way so Carly could see see uh who it was and reveal. You know, that he be in there all the time or whatever. I said, yeah, they better be careful. They better be careful. Who else we got? Violet and them. Um, basically, they just talk about Santa and Christmas. Um, Blaze 
Blaze dropped Christina hand. She was thinking about this. She she dropped Christina hand. I said, yep, because she already told her. She said, um, her family not gonna be accepting of it. I said, somebody gonna be able to tell anyways. Y'all always together and, and y'all be all. It's not like oh, I mean sometimes you can't tell, but I said it's gonna be obvious at some point. I don't think Brooklyn would care. But yeah, uh, I said that's gonna be a problem between them because she over here still in the closet. Then uh, Molly and TJ, so they go talk to the doctor or whatever, and she was like telling them it takes time. You don't know if if it's gonna take the first time you do it, and it basically just take time. And Molly got upset; they was crying and and everything. Then they brought up how they can't ask Christina to put her life on hold because you know she's supposed to be opening in the center and all this stuff. I said, yeah, Christina. Then she ain't think this through. I said, something gonna go. I still feel like something gonna go wrong. They make it too big of a fuss about it. Well, not a fuss, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Probably. <laughs> Who else we got? It was something else. Um. Spencer Jocelyn. Oh, uh, Esme came to talk to Trina. I mean, came to uh, get her package or whatever. Came to get her package or whatever. Then she asked to speak to Trina outside. Go ask this girl. Maybe one day we could be friends. Well, I ain't going to say it's impossible because, you, you know, Nina and Ava friends. I think they're going to be on tomorrow's episode. They friends. After what she did, I said, look, it's okay to be cordial and all that stuff, but don't be delusional now. But Trina basically let her know they would never be okay. I said, this Trina, Spencer, Esme thing is not over, especially with this girl don't got her memory back. She's going to do something. I don't know if she's going to try to make it so uh, Spencer can be on her side or get attached to him. I don't know what she's going to do. But y'all know once she starts scheming, it's over with. Because, I, again, I repeat, <laughs> I think they said they was going to wait to take her to court um, once her memory came back. Once her memory came back. But did she know that part? I don't know if she know. Does Esme know that they uh waiting? I can't remember. I don't think they would tell her that in front of her, but I feel like she know that. But yeah, uh uh who else? I think it was just Alexis now. Not too much happened on this episode. They was talking about skydiving. When they said that, I thought Alexis was going to suggest that they do it inside. Because y'all, if you didn't know, now they got in certain places, though. They got it where you could skydive in the inside. They had, like, this little thing where uh, you float. I seen it on a vlog or whatever. I seen it on a vlog, and they was uh, doing it or whatever. I don't know if I do. I think even – I definitely need to jump out of no doggone plane. <laughs> Look, they was talking. As soon as they said that, I said, oh, she about to suggest – you know, they got indoor, that's what it's called, the indoor skydiving. But yeah, if you didn't know, they got that. I was like, she gonna suggest that. But no, she said she gonna do it with, she gonna do it with him. So I'm ready to see if they actually, of course it ain't gonna be for real, for real. But you know, I'm glad that they not dragging out this whole Mr. Brennan thing though. I'm just ready for them to reveal that he keep coming in there. And there's a reason why he keep coming in there talking to her and he pushing on her very hard. I said, look. Connect the dots, Sonny. Trying to uh, get one up Sonny or whatever. But that's it, y'all. I think that's it. I, I can't remember. I didn't write no notes because I wasn't going to do no review till I seen one Sam over here investigating this man in public and then Esme getting her memory back. So I didn't write no notes. But I think that's everything, y'all. But let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, do this. Have a great rest of the day and be safe. Hey, y'all, if you're looking for more ways to support me, you can sign up for the DRC Crew Text Club. It's a motivational group. You'll get four encouraging messages per month until the end of December, next December, 2024. It's a one-time fee of $10. The link is in the description, as well as how you can contact me if you have more questions. Until next time, deuces.